So hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the full moon in Sagittarius, the manifesting visionary themed secret code name readings. All right. This is secret code name White Stallion. All right. For those of you who are unfamiliar with how these work, they are purchased by individuals via my Etsy shop. All right. And once they're purchased, I let them know I got them and their secret code name is fill in the blank. All right. Uh, in this case, it's White Stallion. Um, this is their personal reading. All right. This is their personal reading. The beauty of these secret code name events um, is that you may resonate to one of the secret code names. Okay. In divine time, whenever it crosses your path, which means there is most likely a message in here for you. All right. So today, I am using my Psychic Tarot of the Heart deck and my Wisdom of the Oracle cards to get an idea of what the actual vision is, right? What's going on in the mind's eye, in the third eye. Then I'm using my Descriptor deck, right? It's an energy Descriptor deck. Um, I created it myself. It's my deck. It's nowhere else in the world. <laughs> I'm the only one that's got it for now, right? It may or may not end up hitting my Etsy shop at some point. Um, and that is to get an idea of what energy you are manifesting from, right? So your vision plus your energy equals the manifestation. And I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot to get some insights into that. And then I'm pulling um, from the universe has your back deck in order for uh, some guidance to come through at the end. Okay. Also, for those of you who follow me on Facebook, all right, be reminded I started a new page energy 22 by grace nicole myths all right on facebook for the strict purpose of announcing any new items and services that i have in my shops any flash sales that i offer um and the different secret code name events whether it's the moon events or the divine duality events okay i didn't want those types of posts push, pushing down the other posts on my feed right my primary page um and vice versa so i created a separate page so that everything that i do and offer um will be on that page okay you can find it on facebook by putting in the at symbol energy 22 it's the same as my twitter account okay it's just on facebook um so that you can keep track of all the things that i offer and not lose all of the different things that i put out on my primary page like readings and motivational stuff and cards and astrology and all that that wonderfulness on my main page okay so with that said, uh, secret code name White Stallion. Let's get into it. All right. So what is the vision? What is the vision for secret code name White Stallion and those who would be drawn to the secret code name in divine time? Multiple threes. What is the clarification energy, please? Give me two more. Okay. What energy are they manifesting from? Where is their energy at? What is the manifestation of this vision plus this energy? How does that manifest?
Two more. Okay, two more. I need a bigger table. <laughs> and what is the guidance? Okay. So white stallion. Okay, so we have Embrace, which is the world card clarified by Happy Happy, the Solar Plexus clarified by Milk and Honey, the Death card, which is Release, clarified by TikTok, the Share the Love, Three of Cups with Treasure Island, and then the Heart Chakra with Breathe, okay? I'm feeling like you see this vision in your mind of, of everything, right? Having everything. Everything is complete. Everything is happy. Every, life is sweet. You're confident. You're excited about life, right? This is the vision that you're holding. And then there's this thought that sneaks in that says, yeah, but it's only a matter of time. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. Tick tock before you got to let it go, right? Or before something comes in that ruins it. Like, you can't just be happy and feel whole and complete. Something's got to come in that ruins it. And so, from that thought, we get the, the third-party energy with Treasure Island. And it's almost like being afraid to just accept that everything is happy and to continue investing in it. When really you just need to let your heart breathe and, and give your heart a break and stop maybe focusing on the fact that maybe it's too good to be true and it's just a matter of time, right? Because I think when you think it's just a matter of time and you're going to lose it, it's too good to be true, I think that ends up um, distracting you. I think it ends up distracting you and you end up um, investing in the wrong people. Quite literally, right? You might start becoming financially irresponsible and not realize you're doing it, right? Because when something's too good to be true, you might go out with your friends, spend extra money on your friends, you know, and be like, yeah, I got it, no problem. I'll treat you to this, I'll treat you to that. When really you should be kind of focusing on what's happy, healthy, whole, and sweet to keep it that way, right? <laughs> um, you may bottle up a lot of angry, volatile energy and be in denial of the fact that you're pessimistic and, and high anxiety, right? You might find yourself even picking a fight or an argument when there's no fight or argument needed because, you know, you're, it's almost like you, you don't understand how it can't just be perfect, right? So it's almost like intentionally <laughs> seeing if it'll stay perfect by challenging it in an imperfect way. By testing the stamina of a relationship or the endurance, right? If you think about stallion energy, right? Horse energy is about endurance and stamina. If you start to test the stamina or test the endurance of something, it's because you don't believe it's there. You're in a lack mentality, right? Where you don't believe that it has stamina and endurance. And so if you don't believe it has stamina and, and endurance that you would test it, then you're manifesting the lack of stamina and endurance. <laughs> That's what you're manifesting then, right? You got to believe that it does have stamina and it does have endurance and not feel the need to test it. It's almost like, well, if they can't handle me at my worst and they don't deserve my best. What makes you think they deserve your worst at all, though? <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't deserve your worst at all, though. 
you're taking your worst out on the wrong person. Because that's where I'd be coming from. If I were like this milk and honey, happy, happy, life is complete, everything is good and worth being excited about, energetic person in your life, and you started testing me, well, if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve my best type test, I'd be like, yeah, but I don't deserve your fucking worst. So why are you giving me your worst? <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> why I have to deal with your worst at all. Like... Why is your worst even there with me? You know, like, no, don't test me. I'd be pissed. Like, don't test me. Don't question my stamina and, and endurance and my ability to, to keep moving forward and deal with you at your worst type shit. I don't fucking deserve your worst. I think you see yourself as a very considerate person and a growth oriented person, which means, you know, if this is your energy, you are in fact manifesting considerate people and growth oriented people. Um, but you've got to be able to release these shadows that you're manifesting from. Okay. Because ultimately what results, we have the star card with the nine of swords in the reverse. So you go through this great healing, right? Where there's no anxiety, no nightmare scenario. You have this great, person in your life right and then you get trapped in your head and wonder if you're weaving the right story right double eights eight of swords eight of coins you get trapped in your head and then wonder if you're manifesting the right story and so your thoughts start to spin and they become uh toxic you're in your own mental prison right and you start making efforts based on that mental prison and then we get the emperor card with the five of wands and the seven of coins and you start picking fights because you know inner conflict and it's not enough <laughs> it's not enough right you're eclipsing your own light right we have the the shadow of the moon blocking out the sun your divine masculine energy your energy comes out conflicted your energy might come out petty like why isn't it good enough like this isn't the result I want but <laughs> I think you're you're spinning it in your mind more than anything else right so listen your guidance the more energy and intention I bring to my faith the more fearless and free I am hummingbird energy is about enjoying the sweetness of life just simply enjoy the sweetness of life the hummingbird doesn't find a flower and say that nectar is not sweet enough and pick a fight with the flower <laughs> it doesn't you know what i mean the flower is like i'm just being a beautiful flower and i'm being nourishing i'm being sweet like what the fuck you knocking me for <laughs> I think you gotta learn to be more optimistic, be more inner peace oriented, and trust that you're financially sound when you're not just recklessly blowing money in, in different places because, you know, it ends up picking a fight. Like, for example, let's just say you have this great partner and they want to create a stable home, right? They wanna, they wanna buy a home and live in a home with you. Um, but you're spending money on this person, spending money on that person. You're like, well, it's my money. I'll spend it how I want. And my, your partner's like, yeah, but I'm saving for a home and I'm not recklessly spending on other people because I'm saving for a home. Why are you recklessly spending on other people when I thought we were saving for a home? Like, don't you want to save for a home with me? Like, why is it all got to be on me? Why can you recklessly blow your money? Right. But I can't recklessly blow mine because if I start recklessly blowing mine, I'm not going after the dream, but you're over there recklessly blowing money and you're not going for the dream right and then you're telling me that what I'm doing is not enough because we don't have this and this and this and this like where's my partner <laughs> where's my team in you right as an example 
allow it to be whole and complete and get excited about what you're building instead of focusing on, well, it's only a matter of time before it falls apart when your own actions might be creating the fall apart. It's your own mental prison, right? It's your own mental prison. You're angry at yourself for not doing better and then taking it out on your partner like they're not doing enough when really you could be doing better, right? You've got to come forward with stamina and endurance and be able to be responsible with your partner. Whoever it is that you're partnering up with in life, right? Whether you're moving forward with a romantic partner or moving forward with a friendship roommate and you guys are in it together until the end, you got each other's backs, like whatever it is that you're building with, you gotta show up to be a part of the team every day and put the team first before your wounds, right? You gotta put the team before your wounds. You gotta put positively aligned thoughts, optimism and focus into what you're building, into the happy, wonderful that you don't want to just, you know, leave and pull out from the rug under you one day, you know? You gotta be an active participant in that stability. You've gotta create it as much as your partners. Okay. So with that said, I hope this has given you some perspective on, on how you manifest, right? The manifesting visionary that you are so that you can make corrections and just simply enjoy the happy, stable, beautiful, complete, sweet life <laughs> um, that you want by allowing your heart to just kind of breathe and refocus, right? Refocus. So, drop a like if you haven't already. I appreciate it. it. Helps my channel grow. Leave a comment. Let me know how it resonated. Uh, especially if this wasn't your actual code name and, and you resonated to it in divine time. Let me know how it resonated with you. And um, know that my love and support is with you always. And I will see you again soon. Take care. <laughs>